when we hung the sign outside, I was so nervous that it was too big. And then we, I stood across the street and it lit up and I just remember being so excited. It was like the first time you see your business card. And all of a sudden, it becomes your identity. It's like when you stress about what you're gonna name your child and the minute you start calling them their name, you don't even think of, that's just their name. That just becomes part of who they are. And so that, that branding process of seeing my big sign outside and then seeing my business cards, those things were, that was really, really exciting. When we opened the practice in 2012, we had a street level space, about 2,800 square feet. I thought this space was way too big that I would never, ever fill it up. And so we planned for seven chairs and I started with two. And within the first couple years, I realized that I was gonna need some more chairs. And by about seven years in, to so my 10 year lease, I realized that I was gonna need more than seven chairs. And while we looked at a lot of different options, we got really lucky when the space above mine became vacant. I jumped on the opportunity to just stay right where I was in the space that feels like home that I always thought that I would retire in. I never wanted to have to leave my space or leave my block or leave my community or neighborhood. When the ability to just double the size of the office by moving upstairs presented itself after some, some planning with some architects then and some boxes got checked, then we decided that that was the, the right way to proceed. So we have an elevator or stairs that can go up to our second floor and we've right now started to kind of focus on just that being the specialty treatment. So we have a surgical suite and we have some endodontic rooms, we have a microscope, we've got a lot of fancy equipment and uh, we really love it up here. Some of the highest types of compliments that I can receive um, as a dentist are when my employees, my long-term employees who've worked for many dental offices choose to bring their friends and family to me, to see me for their treatment. That's a big compliment. Also, anytime a patient bursts into tears when I hand them the mirror, that's one of those moments that gets me every time. Um, and the longer I practice, the more frequently it's happening. We were very close to achieving 500 reviews on Google is exciting and terrifying. It's always been a bit terrifying to me, knowing that you could have your life's work evaluated on the internet for everybody to read that can never be taken down is something that's scary. It's something that is also motivating though. Um, quality control, it's, it's, a, it's a litmus test on how we're doing and, and, and how we're making our patients feel and I take it really seriously. The fact that we have 500 good reviews is just something I'm really proud of. As far as having multiple locations down the road, as of right now, I have no plans for that. One office with 14 chairs is a pretty big office. It takes all of my, my time and energy and, and, and resources to, to make this the best run office that it can be. More is not always more. I'm protective of my work-life balance and I'm protective of the idea that I have a, a really good handle on the practice no matter what its size is. I have a few goals for myself professionally over the next few years and also for the office. They kind of go hand in hand. We want to continue to grow into our new expanded space. We want to add and maintain the team we have. I'd love to have more specialties in the office. We could have our patients come into the office and know that there's a very small chance that they're gonna have to go anywhere else unless they choose to for any of their special dental work that they may need. As far as my personal goals go, I still wanna to continue to work on my Masters of the Academy in General Dentistry. When I receive that award, I will be amongst the top 1% of the dentists in the United States.